Well, welcome to the fourth annual Wheaton Arts Parade and Festival. So one of our goals in having this parade, which is not here today, was to bring the community together, to let art bring the community together. That's the mission of the Wheaton Arts Parade. Wheaton is a diverse community. The Wheaton Arts Parade is trying to celebrate our cultural diversity. And you'll find today we have artists from Costa Rica, Argentina, Puerto Rico, African-American, American, I know I've forgotten a country, El Salvador. So it's a very diverse group that works in the Wheaton Arts Parade. One of the things you'll see along the street is our yarn bomb. Felisa Fetterman and Edith Salazar, two of our Latinx artists, started the yarn bomb and has become a tradition with the Wheaton Arts Parade. And you'll see them on the lampposts as you go looking at the pyramids. What did we do? Well, back in May, we panicked. We all were dealing with the COVID. We all were in quarantine. And what were we gonna do when September came and we're supposed to have our parade? So I was sitting around with one of our artists, Paige Friedemann. I know she's here somewhere. And we were brainstorming. Well, how could we pull this out of the fire? And Paige said, well, you know, they, they have public art installations in Annapolis. They had crabs and uh, fish. And I said, oh, and they had the donkeys and the, and the uh, elephants in uh, DC. I said, well, Wheaton has to have tetrahedrons, pyramids, triangle. This is the Wheaton Triangle. Wheaton is formed by three highways, George Avenue, Veers Mill, and University. They're all state highways, and they make the Wheaton Triangle. So we call our parade, Parade the Triangle. And so this year, we have 13 giant pyramids. Three of them are eight footers like this. Four of them are four footers. There's a map on our website. Please go to them. And when you get to the pyramid, you can use your, your phone, your device, and you can listen to the artist tell you about their design. We're gonna see one in a few minutes. Angela Davison, who is, has her giant pyramid up by the Starbucks. Um, the two yarn bombers, Felisa and Edith Salazar. And Felisa is also a partner in one of the four foot pyramids. Emily Yeagley, her pyramid is up by the library. Paige Friedemann, I mentioned her name earlier. She worked with One Montgomery Green, and she has done so for the last few years, taking uh, unrecyclable plastics and making art out of it. And so her, her uh, tetrahedron, her pyramid is over by the Veterans Park. Yes, Mary Del Bianco, who couldn't be here, was uh, her partner. Maria Benavidez, she goes by Maripi. Uh, she uh, has a mandala pyramid, and it's up by the clock tower. It seemed appropriate next to some of the mandalas there. Carlos Ramos. Carlos uh, has his pyramid up by Ava, the apartments, and you'll see the happy face there. Uh, Edwin, Edwin Selmeron, uh, he also worked with a, a Wheaton High School student, uh, uh, Allison uh, Sanchez, who did our poster this year. Anyway, Edwin is from El Salvador, and he's, he worked with funds from the Maryland State Arts Council we call it a community mosaic. We couldn't really bring the whole community together. Well, but the pyramid has three sides. So we got three families. Each one would do a different side. And so Allison worked with the families to get the design. And then Edwin is the mosaic expert. You'll see his pyramid up by the Safeway. Laura Lee Palmer. Laura Lee has been with us since the very beginning. She's a photographer, graphic artist, and you'll see her beautiful butterflies down by the flats, down by the fountain on the flats. Sandra? Sandra doesn't have a t-shirt on, I'm sorry. Sandra Perez Ramos, we have one for you. Sandra also, you know, when I uh, met with Louisa, I don't know who I met with, but um, I said, I wanted, how do we involve the, the Latino community in Wheaton? And they said, you need to talk to Sandra Perez Ramos. And we met back in 2017, and she's been working with Wheaton Arts Parade ever since. And so you will see them dressed up in great costumes at our parade. And she does wonderful work. Uh, and her, her pyramid is over, oh, well, I don't know what to call that place anymore. Uh, but on the corner there, by the map. Um, there's someone who's not here. 
Oh, Francisca. Francisca, yes. She worked with uh, Felisa Fetterman. Kelsey, I, who's that? Kelsey over at the Limerick. Oh, yes, 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 yes. We have a wonderful eight-foot uh, pyramid with dragons crawling around it over by the Limerick. And that was done by Kelsey Joyce. She's one of the newest artists at the Wheaton Arts Parade. So, and so I guess this is what we've been waiting for is to, one, two, three. The Wonders of Wheaton. It's called The Wonders of Wheaton. I'd like to say, first of all, thank you to the uh, Montgomery County Arts and Humanities Council, Montgomery County government, um, Westfield Wheaton, uh, the Wheaton Arts Parade, and my fellow artists that I've met through this opportunity. I um, would like to say that I think that um, this county supports artists and recognizes our hard work. I've lived here for, four, for 15 years and I've seen the development and um, I'm really excited about the future of Wheaton. I enjoy all of the restaurants and um, so because this opportunity presented itself on social media, I saw um, a call for artists and an opportunity to win money during quarantine um, supported by the government, which I was excited to see and refresh that they are supporting artists, they like to hear our music, our creative work. So in that case, I applied um, my design. My design is based on um, the local area and, and the, the front part is, um, each side has a theme. Front part is trails and technology. Uh, it's a, a woman riding her bike along the trails. Uh, technology, uh, we have Wi-Fi in this park plaza and um, nature. And um, as you walk throughout Wheaton, you'll see that those are the signs that they have throughout. So that was the inspiration there. Yes, thank you, everybody. Thank you. <laughs> I guess my, 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 other, my other goal was that everybody um, should feel like they can create and make art on their own. It starts with a pencil and idea. So it takes time, and so everybody should be encouraged to create their own work. Thank you. Liliana Huaman, come and get in front of the camera. Come here. You'll get a special treatment because you're last. Anyway, come here, come on. So you can see her pyramid up by the Anchor Inn. Uh, it is called E.T., God of the Sun. And it, I was talking about our diversity. She uh, comes from Peru. And you can see some of their llamas on it and the E.T. Sun God. And it's a really beautiful pyramid up by the corner of Georgia and University. So now we're going to quickly uh, I have to say a word about Westfield. No one has done more among the businesses for the Wheaton Arts Parade than Westfield. They give us free gallery space. We have 25 artists showing their work and selling it at Westfield for free. They are the largest single donor. They give us the art factory where we construct our floats, where we make the yarn bomb. So Westfield, very important sponsor. This year, the Limerick paid for one of these pyramids. One Montgomery Green paid for one of these pyramids. The Wheaton Studio of Dance paid to construct one of these pyramids. And think about that. This is a struggling, this is a struggling dance school that gave money to another arts organization. The same with the Montgomery Art Association. Why would they give money that they're desperate to have to this parade? Because we celebrate all of the artists of this area, from Gaithersburg to Potomac, all of Montgomery County. So anyway, I just wanted to mention our donors. Uh, who have I missed? The Kiwanis, a new sponsor this year. IHOP has been with us from the beginning and the Wheaton Chamber of Commerce. Hi, I am Sandra Perez Ramos and this is my Wheaton Triangle. And the, the name, the complete name is Gato Loco and the Lunatics. Um, each one tells a story. It's uh, these characters that are pursuing the moon and they want to reach the moon because it represents uh, all the ideals that are hard to pursue, beauty, freedom. And it's very 
uh, whimsical and graphic and bold and colorful because I'm thinking of scale and public art and that's what I took into consideration when I was designing it. Thank you. I am Maria Luisa Benavides. I'm from Costa Rica. Uh, this is my Pure Nature Tetrahedron. Um, I inspired, I was inspired in the culture and, um, and fauna and flora of my country, Costa Rica. Uh, this is the, the toucan that represents the fauna. Um, this is the guaria morada that in my country represents the, the flora and is the national flower in my country. And this other side is the, the wheel, the, the wheel, the typical lost car uh, in my country that represents the, the hard work. Yes, um, um, I, love, I like painting mandalas because I uh, decided to make three mandalas for my tetrahedron. Thank you very much. Hi, my name is Francisca Oviedo. I'm from Chile. I'm a visual artist. And this is my first year participating in the Witton Arts Parade. Uh, I joined another artist for this project, Felisa Federman. And the main idea from, for our project was to show uh, Witton's diversity, and I hope we conquered that. And you can find in each of the sides of the triangle a word. Uh, one is unity, the other one is community, and the other one is diversity. Uh, we chose bright colors so to to um, so to attract people's attra attention, and I hope uh, everybody enjoys it and enjoys all the art around the streets. Hello, my name is Edwin Salmeron. Um, I'm a mosaic artist, and this mosaic right here represents a small piece of the community. Three families work uh, to create this with different ideas, and each side represents like every family's ideas. So, this we have this for the community, and I hope everybody enjoys it. Thank you.